We might have the right parts this time because I went to a local small engines place to get them. Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. I'm your host, friggin' Belsif. Today we bring you back to the whippersnipper action because I never did get the proper stuff, as you know, for this weed whacker. So I'm still like just running the generic prime ball and the generic crack and leaking all over the place fuel tank thing of a bobber as you can see there it's leaking all over the damn place in there right there see it probably not but right there it's leaking all over the goddamn place. so i went out and seen petroleum small engines my buddy neil out there owns it and runs that place we figured we'd get the right parts at the right time now if these parts don't work it's not neil's fault it's my fault because i just said i ah, give me then they'll be fine so hopefully we get the right parts i got myself the rubber thing for the fuel tank that's been leaking and I got myself, hopefully, the proper ball. Because as you know, I had to put an O-ring on this one. We're gonna start by changing that. Actually, we should start by changing that. Get over here, watch this. You gotta see this action. So we're gonna start by changing this thing here on the gas can. Cause this cocked right over. It's no good for nothing. So we gotta do that. So let's do this. Fuel pickup. Remember which way that went? Because I don't. Frig. That one blows. This one sucks. There you go, Captain. Now we know. So we'll take all these off. So we can take that off. Well, it kind of fell off. So we'll take this off. And we'll stick that on there first of all. There we go. That was easy. We'll put the new ball. Oh, yeah. Look at the swelling. Oh, it's just swelled right up. So we'll put the new one in here first. Let's get this pulled through. Not the easiest thing to pull through, but hey, she's going. So we'll pull that through. Not sure how much I need. We'll put this through. Yeah, return line. Holy, is that tight? Maybe I should put it in the tank first, eh? No, because I'll never get it in. Frig no. Let's put it in here first, Captain. Then we get the air line, which lets it breathe. So there we go. Hopefully, I can get this in. But we're going to have to find out. So we'll get that in first. And now we get a spit on that or something. And let's give it a little bit of WD 40, maybe. I'll just spray it with a little W. Slider in there. I'm pretty sure this is the right one because it feels pretty good. Oh, dick. Freaking right, it feels good. She's going. Captain, you guessed her right, Neil. Freaking right, you did. So there we go. That's in. So now we want the air doodad goes up there. The return goes here. And the suck up, you need to get in there further because it's too damn long right now. It goes here. Like so. Which we can do from here because I want to empty this gas thing because do I ever treat for you? Right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully you didn't miss me too much. We gotta get this line in, these lines in. Let me grab my needle nose. There we go. Now I'll just get this one in further. <laughs> get in there, you dirty bastard. Oh, dick. Should have maybe put this in a little further from the get-go. So when you're putting this in, make sure you go in deeper. I always say go in deeper. Well, that's no kidding. You should go in deeper. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Is it going? Get in there. You get in there. Get in there, he said. It's not getting in there. Might have to take this back out again. Careful, don't rip it. There it goes. Oh, away. Ooh, hey, ooh. All right, so now let's try putting her back in. There she goes. Now we can put that on and everything looks good. So now we'll change the prime ball again real quick as you seen before, but you'll see it again. And hopefully we got the right one this time. Oh, dick. Oh, it looks pretty good. There it is. Get that screw in. Get this screw in. Oh, it feels good now. So there, now that the proper ball's on, we got the proper friggin' doodad here. We're gonna give her some friggin' fuel. And not just any fuel. We're gonna give her the Neil Special. Where is the Neil Special? What hell they do with it? Right here. This stuff right here. Aspen fuel. It's pretty cheap. It's 40 bucks a jug. It's pretty good stuff, I'm told. 92 octane. It's got like the special goodies and this, that's the other things that the wee wick whackers kind of need. And it lasts forever, I guess. You can leave her in here for a couple years, still fires right up. But if you're watching this, Neil, leave a comment below and explain better than what I can explain because I'm just cocked over and I don't know nothing. So we're going to try putting this $40 fuel into my weed whacker. And the goddamn thing better run better because I tell you right now, it smells like ass. It's not the greatest smell of fuel, but... Hey, it's already pre-mixed. You can buy it for a four stroke or a two stroke. So we'll stick her in the hole. And now that my ball's sealed up, I don't have to, don't spill this stuff. It's worth too much money. Now that my uh, gasket's sealed up, I won't lose all my fuel at the grommet. Tie that up, 
and then uh, we should be able to give a little prime action and maybe get ourselves a little fire up here. So the prime ball's priming excellent. So we got good primage. Trigger on, little pump, little choke. Oh, she's not quite. Hold on. There we go. Look at that. tuned and it's running really good and i'll tell you right now if you guys like going to the racetrack get yourself some of that whatever the hell it's called aspen fuel it freaking smells like race fuel race fuel for the weed whacker freaking right it is but it runs good thanks neil i don't know if i can uh, afford to slap that into my unit every time but when i want to clean it out i'll definitely uh, give you a dingle so don't forget if you guys need anything you're from my area Check out Petroleum Small Engines and Neil will help you out. Friggin' right he will. I'm gonna carry on here. I gotta get out some fertilizer. So Mr. Green is gonna start to spread some fertilizer around. Right here. Hey, we went to the old uh, local co-op there. We got ourselves some bird seed and we got ourselves some 21612, which is slow release. Help green the grass up. Because now that uh, I get a good lawnmower, I gotta have a good grass. That's just the way she is. There we go. We get that spread down on the lawn. So we'll have to see how that works. We'll see in the upcoming videos how green the grass gets. Leave your comments down below. And let me know what you use. Now, if you're an American, don't tell me because you get the good stuff over there. We don't. We don't get the good stuff. We get the environmentally friendly stuff. Scott hates us over here. We get stuff that has corn in it. Hey, okay? we spread corn on our lawn. Check it out. I got the sprinklers working. We're running just a little water action here. Just so we get that fertilizer into the ground a little quicker. You know, it's supposed to rain tonight, but I can't wait for that. I gotta get her into there now. But I got the leaf blower up here, and we're gonna get out the fire washer and give it a little clean in there because it's all dirty and cocked over. We'll be doing some upgrades with that thing and running some of that race fuel in her too. All right, so there you go. We got that all cleaned off. So that looks like the same grommet. It looks like a different carburetor though. Well, maybe not once you flip it upside down. So let's get this thing off and we'll change that prime ball out because it's leaking too. And we'll put a new filter in this and Bob's your friggin' uncle like we did on all the other ones. Oh, dick. Oh, careful. Fire one is pickup, Captain. So we'll kick everything out of here like we did the other one. And it should all be the same, see? Just like that, Jim. We'll feed the new hoses into her. I'm gonna start with feeding this one into her. Nothing like feeding the new hose into her, eh, babe? Yep. Pull that in. Take the fuel pickup, stick it on. Run the new vent line into her. Holy. And then we gotta run in the return line, which you all know about. There we go. So now we can stick this in the fuel tank. Pull it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's always easier to pull it out than push it in. Perfect. We'll get the screw out. Smell in here. Get out of there! Where'd you go? Come on! You have to pull a gas tank out just to find that screw? No, can't do that. I'm gonna have to. How does a screw get locked in like that? A little bit of minor difficulties here. We got a little sidetrack motion going on. We gotta pull the gas tank out, get a screw out. You do? I'm going down to get some sausage buns. Okay. Daddy, would you like some sausage? Daddy, would you like some sausages? Right, babe? Pull the tank out, and hopefully we can find a f***ing screw or two. So here's this washer. I don't see a screw. Oh, don't tell me it went in the engine. Oh, there it is, right there, right behind the gas tank. Frig! Knew it. Why wouldn't you? All right, so we'll slot this back in. There we go. Okay, so we got this thing. This is in my way, which I have no clue where the hell it went. We'll just stick it up there, I guess. And now all we need to do is just uh, change out the dirty old filter, which is dirty. 
dirtier than dicks. So we got to do one of them, we do. That's the only thing that did work from Amazon. Don't forget, if you need any small engine equipment or anything like that, don't forget to uh, check out good old Petroleum Small Engines, eh? Neil will fix you up. Friggin' right he will. Won't you, bud? Decent. So we'll stick that in there. We'll tighten this back up, just like that. Now these things have what they call an emission-friendly carburetor. And it's got two little clicks on here, so you can't do much adjustment. Yeah, just pull them off and get them out of the way. Because once you run some real good fuel, you won't want them on there anymore, so you can actually adjust it to where it runs good instead of half fast. Oh, it will come off. We'll get her off, don't worry. There it is. There's one. And I don't know if the other one comes off or not. I feel like it might be metal. That one might be a set. Yeah, that's not an adjustment. So we'll just pull the one off for now. And we'll get some of our hefty defty race fuel here. Give her a little choke off. What's really going on? Sprinkle section has just cranking over there. Is it even moving? Looks like it's cocked over. So we'll tap this and fill this up. Get out of the way. Well, remember, don't drip any of this because it's expensive. Neil got me on this stuff. Oh, dick. There goes $5. Holy. Don't do that, whatever you do. This stuff's like gold. What's going on with this? Head over here. So now just make sure this thing starts up for the fans, for you guys. And then we're probably gonna sign off for the night because I gotta eat dinner. Suck it. There we go. Pull it. get these things tuned up and running good so that's all set so we're all done this video hopefully you guys enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did don't forget to comment down below and let me know if you want to see more of this kind of stuff you know i got all sorts of stuff we got to change the pulleys as you know on the john deere 160 there we changed the the actual pulley on the transmission and the belt but i got to change the actual pulleys on the tensioner pulleys. I got a bad bearing on one of them because it's noisy still. So I'm thinking it's one of them. Neil said it might be one of them. And I'm going to believe what Neil says because that's what I do. But I love you all. Glad you're here. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Hopefully everybody's staying safe like I am and enjoying life. And until next time, you know what to do for now.